The Data Enrichment Service, otherwise known as DES, is part of TSO's Open Up Semantic platform. It provides semantic enrichment on a software as a service basis and is designed to extract certain information from unstructured text documents. The DES provides the ability to run domain specific annotators or entity extractors for specific clients. So, for example, if a medical publisher wishes to extract disease or drug names, these can be done by building a medical annotator. However, we also provide an off-the-shelf generic annotator called the Starter to enable generic entity extraction immediately. The Starter will identify and extract people's names, companies, places, dates, etc. To show you an example, we will upload a news article taken from the BBC site. You can see here that the DES has identified various entities within the document, such as people, organisations and places. If you look on the right-hand side of the screen, it's also made an attempt to classify the document. In this instance, it's fairly sure this document is talking about military matters. It is also possible to use the DES to find more information on a topic, person or company. Clicking on an entity, such as the company BAE, will take us to more information on this company on a different website. One of the other things that DES attempts to do is to identify things by giving them URIs. This information is then used to produce link data. As another example of the kind of semantic enrichment we are doing, this shows early work on attempting to extract useful information from feedback commentary. This is actually an internal project. You can see we have tried to find and group actions and we have categorised them into groups such as action, change or keep doing the same. Another example is our popularity demonstration. This demonstration crawls UK news articles on the web and extracts information from them. It then displays the people that have appeared most in the news over the past six weeks. If we click on a person, we can see more details about them, including an extended timeline of their appearance and the other people that they are most closely connected to. One of our big projects in the UK recently has been redevelopment of the UK's centralised legislation portal and the process is to update legislation. As part of that, we have used the DES to create a domain-specific process that extracts changes to legislation from new items of legislation. This process helps to semi-automate the updating process, saving time and cost.